When we talk building science, we're really first worried about moisture, water. Water's the number thing, one thing that destroys buildings and building materials. Do you guys get a little bit of yeah. that stuff out here? Yeah, we get a lot of rain when it's not raining. <laughs> Even when it's not raining, yeah. right. And so you can imagine, it's pretty obvious, the first thing we want to think about is the roof. That's our first line of defense. Yeah. And if you look up, you'll notice pretty standard stuff, there right? There we go. Shingles, said, well, yeah. Isn't everybody doing that? Yeah. Absolutely. And asphalt shingles, we want to make good choices there, but they're the first line of defense. Little known that a lot of water actually gets up underneath the shingles. Wind-driven rain, we get some of those uh, avenues or some of those uh, circumstances. So underneath that, you'll notice that sort of white grayish yeah. there. That's called a synthetic roof underlay. Historically, builders use building paper. Why? Because it was the only thing we had. And building paper isn't necessarily the best. You can imagine paper when it gets wet, right, really right. degrades in a very short period of time. This synthetic underlay lasts much longer and really matches the life of the shingles okay. much better. But then, even more important than that, all the water ends up at the edge of the roof. Notice that black layer, it's, yeah. a, it's called a peel and stick. This is called an ice and water shield. And this is a layer that's totally impenetrable, self-sealing. So any water that ends up at the edge of the roof has an opportunity to dry before it does any damage. And then just even that little piece of metal, notice that little drip edge, yeah, that brown yeah. piece of metal? That's to make sure any water that does come off the edge of the roof doesn't go down the face of the building, but actually gets kicked away from the building. 